Welcome back. Watching Sports Center, watching Gardner Webb view with Billy Gillespie's Kentucky Wildcats. He's got the right color tie on to start the game. Don't mess with Grayson Flitner. Are you kidding? Easy basket there. And Gardner Webb picked to finish way down in their own conference. Is up 9 nothing. After that bomb, they're up even more at 14. Later in the first half off the Kentucky miss, Aaron Lynn, who's the junior college transfer. Remember, they returned the four starters from last year on a 9-21 and team. 26-10. Flitner leads everybody with 10 at the break. Time winds down in the first half. Lynn, who was the hero in the first win, and if they win here, they do go to Madison Square Garden to play in the next round of this 2K Sports Challenge. It's Gardner Webb by 11 at the break. Figure an aspiring talk by Gillespie at the half. Gets his defense fired up. Not the case. Flitner again lays it up, lays it in. Got bang, no call. Gardner Webb up 49-31. 55-46. And Grayson Flitner's sports center moment continues. Whoa! And the foul. The ball went off the top of the backboard and counts. Gardner Webb by a dozen. Billy Gillespie can only watch this thing as the game ends. While he's watching, the other coach, Rick Scruggs, is getting interviewed by Bob Wenzel. Rick, congratulations. You just said the phone's ringing already. They're calling to congratulate you, aren't they? I hope I, I hope they're not. anybody's calling the schedulers right now. That, that, that would be a shock right now. But um, it's going to be a great few days to enjoy this and sit back and let it sink in and really realize what we've done tonight. Tell me a little bit about how you're feeling and how you think the players are feeling. Oh, I think they feel like we just won a national championship. I mean, to come into Rupp and be able to beat Kentucky is a lifelong dream. I mean, you, you dream about beating these kind of teams growing up all your life, shooting free throws in the backyard and, and that sort of thing. And, and uh, to come in here and coach in Rupp was a thrill, and, and to win is even a bigger thrill. And I can't even – I don't think I can put it into words right now. Well, this is not new to you in the sense of playing in big places. You went to North Carolina two years ago, and they made a shot at the end to – to win that, how how does how do the two compare? Obviously, this was a little bit bigger. Well, I mean, this one feels a whole lot better. I mean, they, you know, that one we tied the score up with 11 seconds, and, and they hit a shot with 1.8 seconds, and I was happy for about nine seconds. Is about all I was happy. And that's about the, as, as good as it got. And then, uh, but this one tonight's going to last a while. I hope I hope we don't get a hangover from this one. Just from you know the next game, that's going to be the scary part about it. You know, if we come out and play the next game and keep everything in perspective, I think. All right, what about going to New York now? You're going to go to New York. We don't know who you're playing yet, but what about taking the kids up to Madison Square Garden to play in the coaches versus cancer? I can't even describe. I mean, I've always wanted to coach at Madison Square Garden, too, and the kids. I mean, they. this is a dream come true for all of us. You know, you dream about playing in Rupp. Now, we've played in Rupp in North Carolina. We've, we've played in the best places in the in the world to play, and we've come away in pretty good shape. And uh, I can't wait to get to New York now. Congratulations, Rick. Thank you, Fantastic. Coach. It was great to watch. Thank you very much. 331 and 258 in his career is the Gardner Webb head coach Rick Scruggs, who's entering his 12th season there. Again, it's located in Boiling Springs, North Carolina. Became a Division I program in 2000. They haven't beaten the SEC. 0 and 3 all time against ranks opponents before this win at Kentucky. Obviously, Kentucky falls out of the top 25. 9 and 21 last season.